welcome to our virtual talk on osteoarthritis. This video will cover what osteoarthritis is, what causes it, and how you can best manage your symptoms to help reduce pain, increase your physical activity, and improve your quality of life. Osteoarthritis is a condition that can cause pain and stiffness in the joints. It can affect any joint in the body. The most common joints to be affected are the knees, hips, back, feet and hands. It is the most common cause of disability worldwide. Osteoarthritis affects mostly people aged 45 years and older. This is because the changes within the joint that are associated with osteoarthritis are a normal part of the aging process. In fact, these changes in a joint will be seen in most people by the time they're 65 years old. To understand what causes pain in osteoarthritis, let's first look at how a healthy joint works. A joint is where two or more bones meet. They allow bones to move freely without letting them move too far. A joint is held together by ligaments. There is a soft inner lining to the joint called the synovium. A thick fluid created by the synovium protects the joint. This is called synovial fluid. Thin layers of tough, slippery tissue called cartilage act as a protective cushion to allow the bones to move more freely. Muscles are attached to tendons and tendons are attached to bones. Our muscles pull on the tendons to move our joints. Osteoarthritis starts when the cartilage starts to thin or roughen. This happens naturally as part of the aging process, however there are multiple factors that can accelerate this process and make it more likely for us to develop pain. These factors are being overweight, reduced muscle strength, sustaining a previous injury to the joint such as a fracture or ligament injury, or other joint conditions such as gout. There is also evidence to suggest that our genes can play a small part. When the cartilage in our joints starts to thin, our body puts in place a process to repair it. This happens many times over our lifetime, but as we get older, this process can cause other changes within the joints. New bits of bone known as osteophytes may begin to grow within the joint and fluid can build up inside. This reduces the space within the joint. This means that the joint doesn't move as smoothly as it used to and it might feel stiff and painful. These changes can be seen on x-ray, however we now know that the same changes can also be seen in people without pain and are therefore considered as normal age-related findings. For some people these changes cause pain and for others they don't. This is because pain is influenced by a number of factors and not just by changes or damage to the joint. Factors such as our general health and fitness, our weight and the strength of our muscles can influence whether pain is experienced or not. Other factors we know to contribute to our experience of pain in osteoarthritis are things such as stress, anxiety and poor sleep. Everyone's pain experience is different. For one person, stress and poor sleep may be larger contributors to their pain than the tissue factors such as changes in a joint or muscle weakness. For another, excess body weight may be the overwhelming contributor to symptoms. This is also why the severity of joint changes on an x-ray do not tell us how much pain a person will be experiencing. For example, someone with severe osteoarthritis reported on x-ray may be experiencing less pain than somebody else who has mild to moderate changes on their x-ray. Other symptoms include noises such as clicking or crunching and the feeling that the joint may let you down. Although these are unpleasant feelings, they are not necessarily a sign that you are causing harm or making the osteoarthritis worse. 